hope you all are enjoying the refreshments. They're quite yummy, I might, I might add. Let's just start off by wishing a big mazel tov to all my friends who are getting smizah today. We were all in this together for a good two years, and it feels very accomplishing, even on your behalf, that we are finally here. So mazel tov, mazel tov. In Hilton's Tower Ways, we learn about different types of foods which can never become nullified, never bottled. One of those types are what's called a darsha of a minion, a food that is sold in quantity rather than volume, and we count it. The fact that we view each item individually makes it special and therefore never nullified, as opposed to other foods which are never nullified, like taha or barya, because they're never, they're never both nullified because of their very nature. Chal, for example, is never nullified because it itself is unique in the sense that it is a type of food that is fancy enough to be considered, uh, you can serve it to your guests. Meaning, it is the nature of the food itself that makes it never bottle. Another difference of Darashav Minyan is that we decide the status. Nailah or Chal, etc. are items which are never nullified and we can't change that. The deciding factor of Nailah is the fact that it was born on Shabbos or Yom That's what gives it the status of being never nullified. But in Deborah Shabbaminian, its status is decided by us. We can take any item of food and decide that we are counting it or selling it by quantity. And now it's Deborah Shabbaminian. It's never bought. Up. It's different than Nail or Kahal, which are just their, their status of being light bottle is, is, happens completely out of circumstance. The Rebbe writes in the Sikha that we can learn something very meaningful from the fact that Hashem counted the Yidin as opposed to the other nations. He could have just said that our outstanding factor, what makes us different, is that we have a neshama. That just like most things that are never bottled in Tarubais, there's a noticeable difference in this case being our neshama. But he counted us out as human beings. As human beings, we all look the same as everybody else in the world, like a Devashava minion, that on the outside looks the same and has no noticeable difference. But even as a human being, Hashem chose to count us out. So that even on the level of just being a person, we are greater than the other folks out there. We're special and different as human beings, and we know it because Hashem counted us. So there's that for a small ego booster, we're just better. I want to quickly try my best to express my infinite gratitude towards what this program has offered me the past two years. I walked into Aki two years ago having no idea how it would change my life. I didn't even come in with the intention of getting speed off, but I came and I was immediately swallowed up by an ultra warm loving environment where the teachers, principal, and Mashpim are all on the same page. They're all doing their best to create, produ to create productivity and success. It's something most people didn't think exists in the yeshiva system, but then came Ate and Rabbi Tukarnik and blew everyone's socks off and proved them all wrong. Yeah. On my way, we were deciding which trip to go on. Rabbi Tukarnik sent out a poll to the buffer room, and we all voted from a list of four trip options. A bowling trip won the vote. That's the end of the story. It sounds boring, and it is. What? But at, at the time, yeah, just wait a minute. But at the time, what I thought to myself was that this is what impresses me most about Ache, about Robert Tukernik. Everything happens with the input of every buffer. Who's bowling a lot by Emmer? No one. You go to the park, you play baseball, and you come back at 2 a.m. and smell like a burnt hot dog. That's what you do. But bowling is what we wanted, so bowling is what we got. And Mr. Kernick, yeah. Shout out bowling. Rabbi Tukernik listens to the suggestions of Buckram with his complete attention and takes everything seriously, puts it into consideration, and acts on it. Ahe's program is run by the students just as much as it is by the staff. <laughs> he epitomizes what it means to be an Anav, so I'll be as brief as possible. But Rabbi Tukernik has literally dedicated his entire life into every individual in this program to the point where everyone comes out with a new perspective on Yiddishkeit, happiness, and life. I'll try and show a little bit of appreciation to what he has given me the past two years. I'd like to take upon myself, and I'd to right now to win the Perik of Rambam every day in the summer in honor of Rabbi Zakhan. <laughs> Look, you gotta give back. That's the least I can do. Thank you to all my teachers and Ashpin. Thank you, Rabbi, Rabbi Yaakov Weiss, for showing me that Gemara can actually be enjoyable, can actually be enjoyable, and not even so hard to learn.
Thank you, Rabbi Gazinski, for your super entertaining shiurim. <laughs> Thank you, Rabbi Lush, for always being in Zal, ready at any moment to have what often turns out to be the deepest and most meaningful conversation of the year. You are a true example of what it means to live above physicality and materialism, and in a world of spirituality, purpose, and best of all, happiness. Thank you. Thank you, Rabbi Fenton, for your lofty yet comedic lessons. Thank you, Rabbi Kaplan, for your sweet Thank you, Rabbi Fenton, yeah. Thank you, Rabbi Kaplan, for your sweet Hashirim, and for always being ready and wanting to sponsor and make an awesome party. Thank you. A big thank you to Rabbi Patiel. I often sit in your classes or off topic life lesson conversations and think to myself, there are so many people who aren't here and they're missing out. You've taught me things that have changed my perspective on life. Ideas and lessons I'll never forget. Thank you, Rabbi Taylor. <laughs> and thank you to my dear darling friends. There's nothing more valuable. I value nothing more than good memories and you guys have loaded the year with them. I hope to see you, I hope to see as many of you as possible next year. Good luck to all you guys. Thank you, friends and family, for joining us today. Enjoy the watermelon. God bless Aachen. God bless the USA.